Today's video, I'm going to do a video on Southpaw versus Orthodox. So these are tactics that a Southpaw can use against an Orthodox fighter and vice versa. An Orthodox fighter can use against a Southpaw fighter. And I've done a video on this in the past where I gave you a couple tactics and today I'm going to give you a few more. And I'm going to bring in my boxer Paul Palumbo, my amateur boxer Paul Palumbo to demonstrate. Paul's a, Paul's a Southpaw. So I'm going to be the Orthodox, he's going to be the Southpaw. So the first demonstration that we're going to show you is going to be how to parry that jab and take the angle at the same time. So the key is, is like I said, we're in our stance, heel toe stance, we're boxing against each other, okay, and we're fighting for position. I'm trying to get out here and I'm touching, uh, I'm working his lead hand to try to get, and what he can do is, when, if I, if I, if I touch his hand or whatever, if I throw the jab, it doesn't matter. What he's doing right, what he's trying to do is he's trying to parry my jab. At the same time he parries my jab, he's going to step to his right and he's going to take an angle and then he's going to be able to throw the right hand. He's going to get that angle be able to throw that right hand right over top of my, of my jab and he's going to push my jab aside. So again, like I talked about parries, he's pushing my jab aside instead of slipping it so it has longer time to recoil. So he can make that angle and counter punch me with the left hand. So when I throw the jab at him, he's going to step over and, and shoot, his, shoot his straight left hand right down the middle. For video purposes, I'm catching that. But if I had my hand here, like I always talk about my videos, your hands, you, you don't want your hand on the side of your head, okay? Against the southpaw, this is a really good reason why you don't do that. So your hand is here, see? So I can catch. But anyways, he's throwing a jab, okay? And when he's parrying that, he's stepping at the same time. So he's taking his foot and he's stepping like that. He's stepping like that and throwing the left hand right over the top. He's stepping and he's throwing the left hand right over the top. He's going to step and shoot. That's it. Just like that. So if I'm boxing him, that's why I said it's all about, when I show you these things, it's about mastering them. And then you have to have anticipation and timing. You have to have all the things that make a great fighter because it doesn't it doesn't mean just because you know that move that the other guy can't do the same thing to you so it's who masters it better and who's the who is the better technician and who has the better reflexes and timing there's a lot of things that go into this so we're battling on this and let's say he throws a jab at me I could do the same thing see I parry that jab I got my heel toe stance my trajectory he's gonna reach with that jab to hit me at the same time he's he's doing it I'm parrying it I'm parrying it that way and I'm throwing my right hand so he throws the jab and I step out at the same time. I parry, and I'm going to step out with my left foot, and then I'm going to throw the right hand. I'm going to twist with my right foot. So when he throws that left hand, I step out, and I get that angle. I'm sliding that right hand right over the top, right on the inside of his shoulder, and right, right down the pipe. And I'm pushing his hand here so I can get that angle where he's also He's getting hit with a shot that he has to pick up with his peripheral. So it's making it more difficult for him to see the punch as well. Okay, so he throws the, he throws the jab and I throw the right hand. Now we can show you from the other side, both of us doing the same move from the other angle. And I throw the jab at him and he's parrying it. That's it, he's parrying it and stepping out and shooting the left hand. He's parrying it, shooting the left hand, that's it. When he parries my jab, my jab's gonna go over this way. See? He's gonna go over this way and throw it. Now, he could just slip my slip my left hand, okay, and throw that left hand. 
he could slip my jab and throw his left hand. Boom. See, he could do that. But the parry, like I said, it gives you a little bit more of an angle because you're turning the guy and it stops him from recoiling. And that's why mastering parries can be very, very good if you're really good at it, okay? And it's not about swatting at the punch. It's all about just, so like when he did that to me, now I'll watch how I do it to him, see? He, I'm gonna, when I take that hand, I'm just, I'm just softly touching it and turning my shoulders at the same time when I step and I'm throwing the right hand. So it's all synchronized together. When I throw it, when he, I don't, I don't parry, you gotta parry. I don't do that, step over and punch. When I, when I feel like I'm anticipating that jab or I see him, he throws a jab and I can, I can feel his pattern or his rhythm and I feel that I'm in a rhythm and I can get, I can, I'm going to synchronize everything together. See, he's in a rhythm, I'm in a rhythm, but I'm feeling his rhythm. He throws that jab and I step over and shoot at the same time. He throws it, same time, synchronized together. Jab step. Jab step. He throws a jab, I parry step. Parry step. Parry step. Parry step. That's it. So that's how that works. Uh, that's a beautiful tactic to be able to, if, you're, if you use your parries and you learn how to master how to parry punches, there's a great, great tactic right there that you can, an orthodox fighter can use against a southpaw and a southpaw vice versa can use it against an orthodox fighter. So we'll go into the next tactic and this one is learning how to, just like we parried the jab with the lead hand, you can also parry the rear hand with the lead hand, okay? So his lead hand's his right hand. I'm throwing a jab. So I could throw a jab at him and he could parry it. Now let's say this time he doesn't step out. He parries it, okay? He parries it. I throw the right hand. He parries that as well, okay? So he throws, I throw a jab. I throw right hand. He parries and he comes right back with his left hand right over the top, okay? So he's going to parry my jab, parry my right hand, throw the left hand. Parry the jab, parry the right hand, throw the, throw the, throw the left hand. Beautiful. Okay, so when he does that, he can do two different things he can do with that. He could just stay right in the pocket. I, again, I could do the same thing. Like when he throws the jab, I can catch the jab. I, he can throw his left hand, I can catch the left hand, I can shoot right over the top. What I can do is also I can synchronize even more power in that right hand depending upon how technically good you are, how athletic you might be, and all the, all the little things that we talk about is that he throws that jab, I parry that jab like this. He throws the lead left hand, when I parry it, I turn my shoulders and, and I can really turn the right hand and I can also, he, he, he could, he, I could catch the jab, I could catch the left hand, and when, I, when I'm parrying this way, at the same time, I could take a little drop step to really come back and hit him with a hard right hand. So it could be, it can be parry, parry, drop step, right hand. And Paul showed you the same thing. He can do the same thing to me. See, so he throws, I throw a jab, he throws the right hand, that's it, boom, and he hits me, drops back. It was beautiful. See how he synchronized, he turned his shoulders with the parries. Boom, that's it. So he's catching a jab, he's catching the right hand, shoot. Catching a jab, catching the right hand. Don't move until you catch the shot, right? So you, you hear when you're when you're gonna catch the shot. Yeah, don't yeah, that synchronize both of them together. It's gonna synchronize them both together. So he throws a jab, I throw a right hand. Now he shoots it. That's it. Jab, right hand, shoot. That's it. Now, the other tactic, you could just yeah, I showed you off, we showed you off of a one-two. But I could just throw a lead right hand and he could do that same thing. He, I could throw, that, I could throw that, that lead right hand at him and he can shoot it right over the top, boom, without catching a one-two. The first one was catching both punches, but just catching one punch and throw a lead right hand, boom, he could shoot it. Now you see how he's rolling at the same time? Beautiful. That's it. Again, it's the same thing as I always say. A drop back, a drop back left hand or a drop back right hand is just like dropping back and throwing the football. So you show them, throw, if, you, if I threw it and you were throwing the football, how would you move to make movement? Throw the football, right? Step back and throw the football. Step back, throw the football. That's it. Drop back, throw the football. But really what you want to do is you're going to drop, this foot's going to slide, and then you're going to slide it back in. Drop back, and then slide it back in. Drop, slide. Drop, slide. That's it. Drop this, and slide it back in. Step, step. Drop. Step, step, right. And the same things with the punch. That's what he's doing. I throw it, he drops, and then he comes back in. 
drops, back in. Boxing, we're keeping our hands, we're throwing punches, we're not throwing, no. Boom, but it's a twist. It's a twist. It's a swing and a throw sport. So I'm gonna show you how, I, if he throws a straight left hand lead at me, how I wanna see. Like I said, it's, it's the same thing. Like I was saying, I'm in my shoulder plane. It's like I said, the other sports, you're throwing a football, I could throw a football, and that's my shoulder plane. Tom Brady goes back to pass, he throws a football. When I'm boxing, I'm right here. He throws a lead left hand, I drop back, and I throw it. I drop back, and I throw it, okay? Put that hand there, okay? Drop it, sit. So if I was throwing a football, throw the football, gotta throw it. I'm, th I'm stepping back to pass, then I'm throwing a football. With a punch, I'm just dropping back, I'm dropping back and I'm throwing a punch. I'm dropping back and I'm throwing a punch. I'm dropping the back and I'm throwing a punch. I'm dropping back and I'm throwing a football. It's the same, it's the same twist. Do it again. Dropping back and I'm throwing the football. And I could do drop back and throw the football. Do it again. Drop back, throw the football. Okay? So what, you're trying to, what I'm trying to show you there is that if you understand mechanics of swings and throws in other sports, this stuff could come a lot more natural to you. A lot of times people in boxing, as a boxing fraternity, I don't know where this has come from, but we try to make this way more complex than it is. If a guy knows how to swing a baseball, swing a, swing a bat, or throw a football, or swing a tennis racket, you have an advantage right from that, from when he comes in the gym, if, he, if you know he's played those other sports, or if you ask him, then you can use that foundation to develop his punches as well. It's gonna, it's, the position that you're in is the same position that you're gonna be if you throw a football, if you swing a bat, if you swing a tennis racket. So all those things are the same. So that's something that, like I said, you can, if you have a, a person that comes new in the gym and they've done those other sports, you can build off of that foundation. Instead of just complexing everything for them, you can build off that foundation that they already have. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how we can work that drill. So if you guys wanna work that with somebody else on the pads, you can do it on the pads as well. So now I'm gonna show you how you can do that drill and that demonstration that we were showing on the pads. So you could have one person be working the pads, the other person could be working on that demonstration that we showed. And so right now I'm going to work the pads for Paul. I'm going to be working the mitts and he's going to work on that punch on the first demonstration that we did. So I throw the jab at him, he's going to step out and he's going to be able to throw the, the left hand straight down the middle, right on the pads. I'm catching it with my right pad. I'm throwing a jab at him, he's stepping out and he's throwing the left hand. So go ahead and throw it and show him now. That's it. Just like that. That's it. Good. We'll show you that one from the other angle. So now we're going to show you from the other angle the second demonstration that we showed when I throw a jab and a right hand at him. So he's going to throw I'm going to throw the jab and the right hand at him. He's going to parry the first one, parry the second one, throw the left hand. He's going to throw his left hand to my left pad. The last time when he made that move, he threw his left hand to my right pad. So now I throw, I throw a jab at him, I throw a right hand at him, he parries them both with his lead hand, and then he comes back with a left hand right to that pad, uh, right to the, the, to the left pad, okay? He's going to, he's going to, I'm going to block there. I throw the right hand at him, he's going to block that. I'm going to bring this left hand back to position to catch his left hand. So I throw my left hand, he parries it, I throw my right hand, I bring my left hand back to catch his left hand. So you jab, right hand, that's it. There you go. Good. So now, like I said, what Paul can do is he can synchronize that block and he can take a little step back as well. He can synchronize that black the, that block with his shoulder turn and a step back all synchronized together. So I throw the jab, I throw the right hand, there you go. See what he did? He dropped back. Now he's going to come back and throw that left hand back to my left pad again. Drops. That's it. Okay? So that, that we'll show that one from the other angle. Kisses the jab. 
catches my right hand, set. Catches the jab, catches the right hand, and drops back. See that? Catch the left hand, drop back, that's it. Catch the left hand, catch the right hand, drop back. All at once, that's it. So now we'll go from the other angle, just to go back to this angle, to show you just me throwing a lead right hand at him, and him coming back with the left hand without dropping back. He can be right there in the pocket. I could throw, I could throw a right hand at him. He could catch it and throw the left hand right over the top. Catch it, throw the left hand right over the top. That's it. Catch, catch it, throw the left hand over the top. Catch it, that's it. Catch it, catch it, catch it, that's it. Parry it, he's parrying it, that's it. Now he could drop back, like I said, again, he could drop back and really be able to hit it even harder with that. He could synchronize everything together. And I throw the right hand, he's dropping back. Now he's really coming with that, that's it. Catch, that's it. There's a drill for you guys and a, and a demonstration on the tactics that a southpaw can use against an orthodox fighter and an orthodox fighter can use against a southpaw. And don't forget to check out my other video where I gave you a couple tactics in that video. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Kello Boxing. And I'll see you guys next time.